Hello there, I'm your tutor Kara and welcome to Mastery Tutoring. So I have an awesome question that is on the board I want us to do together. But before we start with the question, um, please subscribe to our channel uh, just to help our channel grow. And then also share with your friends and you know, let them know about our channel. Um, because we do understand that a lot of students, uh, especially matriculants, are worried that they're sitting at home you know they can't interact with their teachers due to lockdown reasons so please um, let them know and then so they can watch this content and then hopefully it's gonna help them you know I do something while they're sitting at home and then uh, so for those who are interested in booking like you know one-on-one -on -one private lessons you can whatsapp us on the number that is on the on the uh, screen and the number that is on the scroller here it's moving down here so you can WhatsApp us for bookings or, or also you can go to our website. You can visit our website, which is also on the screen as the, the scroller is moving. Our, our website um, will appear there, the link to our website that you can uh, actually follow. So you can also book from our, our website. You know, without further ado, let's start with the question. So we're going to do 1.2 of this question. Why? Because... Um, there's a there's a part one of this video where we were doing uh, 1.1 so right now we're going to focus on question 1.2 so it reads as follows determine the value of the following expression without the use of a calculator so the expression is given to us as cos 65 degrees multiplied by cos 35 degrees plus cos 25 degrees multiplied by cos 55 degrees so this is what we need to do right this is a question from trigonometry um, it's it's actually it involves um, your compound angles and then as well as your spatial angles so we do know what uh, compound angles are I believe that if you don't know what compound angles are please um, Leave a comment i'm going to create a video a separate video where i'm going to explain what compound angles are and then also i'm going to i'm going to give examples as to how you can apply the compound angles you know on a question but for now let us focus on i'm going to assume that you know we all understand you know uh, compound angles and then i'm going to solve this right so now this question um when i look at it actually the first thing that comes in my mind is that i need to try and change the, the right side of the plus sign into um, if I can make it uh, your cos so instead of sorry if I can make it your sign so instead of cos 25 cos 55 I can change the cos into sine and angle multiplied by sine and angle so but then at this point I don't know what that angle is right but for me to decide on the angle I can see that uh, looking on the on this side on the left side of the what is it of the um, of the plus sign i see that i have 65 degrees so let me write it here i have 65 degrees and then also i have 35 degrees okay this one looks like a 36 let me correct it quickly so i have 35 degrees right so between these two right i need to come up with two angles that when i add them together or when i get the different I'm going to get a special angle because remember we are dealing with special angles they specifically instructed us not to use a calculator so I need to make sure that um, I have a special angle at the end so when I apply my compound angle eventually I'm gonna uh, have maybe like a cos 30 degrees or a cos 60 degrees or a cos 45 degrees you know something like that because remember our special angles are 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees well in 90 it also part of special angles but then the most common one is 30 45 and 60 degrees <clears throat> so now I want to check if I, get, I I add these two I want to see what 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 do I get right so 30 plus 65 no 30, 65 plus 35 it gives me 100 100 degrees right now when you check 100 degrees is not part of these special angles therefore I cannot um, come up with uh, what is it I cannot use this one I can I cannot use the the plus one right 
But then if I say 65 degrees minus 35 degrees, this gives me 30 degrees. And 30 degrees is a special angle. So therefore, I can go with this one. But then another thing is, as I've already, as I've already mentioned, that we're going to change this into your cos. Cos normally, because here is plus, it is going to be a minus. So therefore, this one is correct. You know, if what I'm saying, if I'm what I'm explaining right now, it doesn't make sense to you, please hang in there. Don't worry. You know, it'll make sense. Proceed. You know, um, just just hang in there. So allow me to remove this quickly because it doesn't really form part of the solution. It was just me explaining to you. Okay, cool. This one I can leave it as 65, cos 65, and then cos 35 degrees. Plus, the plus doesn't change, right? But then cos 25 degrees, I can write it as cos of... Now, I need to come up with two angles that when I get the difference between them, it is going to give me uh, any of these two. So either it gives me 65 degrees or it gives me, excuse me, I'm going to come up with two angles that I'm going to add or get the difference between them in such a way that it is going to give me 25 degrees. So it's either I can use 90 or 90 minus something, but then remember, we need to use 90 as the angle here. So this is supposed to be 90. But then we have to decide whether it's going to be plus or minus an angle here. Now, the reason why I'm choosing 90 is because 90, when I use 90 here, the cos it is definitely going to change into its uh, uh, co, co function, which is sine, which is what exactly I want, you know. So now let me decide as to whether I'm going to say plus something or minus something. But then remember, I want it to be in such a way that eventually I'm, not, I'm no longer going to have 25 degrees. I'm going to have 65 degrees. So therefore, it has to be a minus. So if I can say minus 65, do it quickly on a calculator there. You can put this video in a pause and then do 90 minus 65. On my calculator, it gives me 25 degrees. So 90 minus, so this one I can write it as 90 minus 65. So here I'm going to put 65. 65 degrees. So 90 minus 65, it gives me 25. And then I multiply again. So let me to erase this. So this is going to be multiplied by so we do the same thing actually here when we get here. So this is going to be cos of 90 minus something. So it's gonna be it's gonna be so we need to think of an angle that we're gonna subtract from 90 in such a way that it is going to give us 55. So please try 35 degrees in your calculator. So this is 35, I know it looks bad, but that's a 35 degrees. So 90, let me just confirm it in my calculator. So 90 minus 35, it gives me 55 degrees. So basically, I didn't, it's as if I did nothing here. It's as if I left it as, this one, it's as if I left it as 25. And then this one, it's as if I left it as um, 55. Okay, now we move to the next step. So the left-hand side of the sign is not going to change. It will stay the same. So this is 35 uh, plus... Now we check. So 90 degrees minus 65, which quadrant is this? This is uh, in the first quadrant. And what do we know about these uh, trigonometric functions in the, in the first quadrant? We know that they are all positive. So therefore, the, pos the plus sign here is not going to change. So but then also because we have 90 degrees here, the cos will change into its co-function, which is sine. So this is going to be sine 90. Ooh going on here it's gonna change into sine 65 degrees multiplied by so the same thing goes here this is 90 minus 35 degrees is in the first quadrant where all trigonometric functions including cos are positive and uh, because we have 90 degrees the cos will change into its co-function which is sine so therefore this is going to be sine 35 degrees all right great so um, as you can see that uh, we have the cos on the left 
side of the plus sign, and then we have the signs on the right side of the plus sign. So this is um, it's a compound angle for cosine. So we're going to use the cosine compound angles. Um, so now we're going to apply it, right? So it's going to be cos of open brackets. So because we have 65 and 65, 35 and 35, this is going to be 65 and 35 degrees. But now to decide on the sign, this is the sign that guides us. The sign here in the middle is the one that guides us. Because now this is positive, our sign here has to be negative. So therefore, I'm going to put negative here. You know, if this is confusing for you, you can visit your compound angles. You can open a, your, your math textbook and then you go to uh, these compound angles and see how they do because they always alternate. For cosine, they always alternate. So if it's a plus here, the, the, the sign here is going to be minus. If it's a minus, other sign there's going to be plus if what i'm saying here doesn't make sense to you leave a comment maybe you don't understand uh, what is it um, the compound angles so leave a comment maybe i'll make a video on comp or specifically on compound angles so now what is uh 65 minus minus uh, 35 my calculator gives me 30 degrees so now i have 30 degrees on my board so now using using um special angles what is um, cos 35 degrees? So cos 35 degrees using special angle is going to be square root of 3 over 2. You know, once again, if you guys don't understand how to get this, um, to use special angles, um, you just leave a comment here. But then just a quick review, special angles look like this. So suppose we have a right angled triangle. So this is going to be 90 degrees. Mm. Let me call this A, B, C, not that it matters. So now if I make this 30 degrees, we all know from geometry, um, triangular geometry, that the sum of a triangle uh, adds up to 180 degrees. So therefore, if we have 30 degrees and 90 degrees, this is going to be 60 degrees. Now, so now the cause, so, so the right angle triangle for, for the special angle 30 degrees, this is going to be 2, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, this is my hypotenuse, so it has to be 1. So this is, this is 1, 1, and this is 2, and therefore this is square root of 3. Yep, so um, let me just confirm if everything is correct here. Yeah? yeah, everything makes sense. Right, so this is going to be so now when you do this, when you do your 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 cos theta is here to use a special angle, you just stand here at B at angle A B C, you know, here at 30 degrees, and then when you're standing here at 30 degrees, you know, your opposite is where the square root of 3, and then your hypotenuse is where there's 2. Therefore, cos theta degrees gives us square root of 3 over 2. Now, this is our answer to this question. I hope this was very was very helpful. If um, maybe you don't understand special angles, how I got to the answer, you know, you can quickly use a calculator there, you know, but then it's not really advisable. What I would, what I would advise you is to know exactly how to get these um, answers without the use of a calculator. So meaning that you have to rely on the special, special angles, special angle triangles. Anyway, I hope this, I also hope that, you know, you've learned something out of this, you know, because uh, at Mastery Tutoring, we proud ourselves with making sure that our learners learn. So as much as you're not directly our learner, the fact that you're watching this content on our page, it means you are our learner for this short period of time. I don't know if it's um, five minutes or two minutes. How long has this lesson been? It has been uh, almost 15 minutes, you know. So for the for the past 14 minutes to 15 minutes, you've been our uh, you've been our student. So I hope that you learn something. And then also, guys, please, please, please subscribe to our channel. You know, help us grow because we are really, really serious with this. You know, the more you subscribe, is the more we get motivated to keep doing what we're doing because it means we're bringing value to your lives. And then also, it helps our channel to go and reach 
you know other learners who are who really need our help you know so please your your subscription makes a huge difference um i think i think uh, i've said everything that i needed to say you know if you have any comment you know leave sorry if you have any question you can leave your comment here all right enjoy your day goodbye